recent days stable diffusion breaks all popularity records and many people searching for possibilities to run it in most effective way. One of such solutions is automatic 1111 web interface that requires in some cases to be installed on your computer using powerful hardware, in other cases to run Google Colab notebook with uh, Google Cloud resources. But you need to know that there exist excellent ways to run stable diffusion from your web browser without necessity to have a powerful GPU. Three great solutions of this kind I'll show you right now. At the time I record this video, all of them are free of charge and uh, able to run quickly on even weakest computer. First is Hugging Face. Actually, it's a big drive where original stable diffusion located. It's repository for new versions of stable diffusion and many people connect to Hugging Face from their applications to reach possibilities of text-to-image artificial intelligence models. But actually you can test stable diffusion model directly from Hugging Face. How to do it? I suggest to check trending items and as you can see stable diffusion 2.1 recent model announced only a few days ago at the top of Hugging Face users interest, more than 4000 likes. Press this button, demonstration widget where you can generate image. For newcomers I suggest to go to stable diffusion blog, we are now here, I'll provide link in description and copy text suggested by creators. As you can see this text consists of two parts positive prompt and negative prompt. Positive features you want to see in image. Negative description of items to exclude. So you need to copy them separately. I'll select positive part of this text, copy it and paste it in prompt cell. Then we go back to blog post and copy negative prompt without any additional information. So copy this text, come back to Hugging Face and paste it to negative prompt zone. The only thing we need to do now is to press generate image button. And system will generate image according to this description. As you can see, four samples generated. You click each one to enlarge and use right mouse button to save it to your PC. Another great possibility to run stable diffusion from Hugging Face is use fine-tuned stable diffusion 1.5 release. Here you can select different variants of models, releases of stable diffusion additionally trained to achieve better results. I'll provide link in video description. Let's select Midjourney V4 style, copy positive part of prompt from demonstration blog post and paste it into text input cell. I suggest to enlarge number of images to 4 to achieve few variants to have more choice. Copy negative prompt text and paste it into negative prompt cell of fine-tuned diffusion widget. When ready, press generate. Wait for a few seconds and check for result. As you can see, fine-tuned stable diffusion, even older model can give you better results. Select image you found off and save it to your computer. Second approach to run stable diffusion from your PC having internet connection is using Discord. Link provided in description to video. You should be registered user of Discord. If not, do it. It requires only few seconds. You will appear in Discord browser release on stable diffusion server. 
check for white mark at the left near this beautiful icon of human eye symbol of stable diffusion. Then on stable diffusion server you need to scroll this left ribbon until reach DreamBot section. Scroll it to bottom, find DreamBot slots, 25 slots. Let's select first one, scroll to the bottom and press slash. When you press it, you'll see example how to dream. Select dream and prompt input zone will appear. Once more we can copy example text. Let's scroll to another image for this video to be more interesting. As you remember, we need to copy separately positive part of prompt and negative part of prompt. Copy positive part of prompt and paste it to prompt cell on this code. Then click outside of this cell and you'll see a list of other parameters. You need negative prompt parameter, click on it, copy negative part of prompt without any additional information and paste it into discord zone for negative prompt. Click outside this cell and you are ready to execute. Let's check our string. At the beginning there should be slash with word dream, then should be cell for prompt and then negative prompt zone. Press enter and you'll see dream board for 80 digit here will be your discord name dreaming. Wait for a few seconds and your image will appear on discord. You can press open original to see final release of generated image and in the same manner as in previous examples save it to your PC. This stripe change quickly so in case your result disappear go to the right top position of discord click on mail button and he'll be all messages from DreamBot. Go back to your message and for example press plus three to generate three more different variants of image. Wait for a few seconds. You can check your email. When ready all images will appear here. Great results. Select the best one, open original and once more save it to your PC. As you can see easy and versatile. Finally the third variant, last but not least, stable hoarding net, link in description, is community of people who grant their computer equipment for free for people who really need it. Web interface and software to run stable diffusion on their often very powerful personal hardware. We'll go here to GUI link from this web page we are interested in web interface. We press stable UE and here is stable horde web interface. So you need to install nothing to generate image. As you can see we have zone for prompt, for negative prompt and some other parameters and good news they also provide a possibility to use trained release of stable diffusion. You can start general release or some another variant. Let's this time select mid journey paint art because this time we'll generate beautiful painting. Portrait of beautiful redhead woman. So I'll add some additional words to specify for stable diffusion to draw portrait. Firstly I add 8k this magic word explain for artificial intelligence model to generate detailed high quality output. Some drops of ink as you can see you can paint with text watercolor splashes on wet paper. Golden Rater it's about composition it will give us beautiful composition. Octane render maybe we'll remove it because we do not want to generate 3D model. We do not interested generating flat illustration because it's about vector design. So here is our prompt 
and let's uh, print what we do not want to generate in this image. I'll also specify that we do not want any render, we want painting, we do not want close eyes, bad painted hands and cropped image. Also let's enlarge amount of variance to 4 and press generate button. Image is ready. You can click arrows to view different solution. Click download to download them and investigate paintings on your PC in full quality. So today you are introduced to three options to run stable diffusion in web browser without powerful GPU only connected to internet. If you appreciate this short tutorial, don't forget to put your like and don't forget to subscribe to 80 digit channel. That's all folks for today to be continued.